Hey guys, what's up? Tony here, and we are so close to the end, I can almost taste it. So we're at Stag Airship now, doing uh, all the collectibles in this area. Remember again, please make sure to try to beat the game, or get as close as you can before continuing on, because this area has certain parts that you can't unlock unless you have Stag's voice and fingerprints. Uh, fingerprints for sure you have to get through there, but yeah, definitely you're going to need the voice for sure. And I can't remember when you get the voice, but it is later on. So this is, I'm showing you how I come into each uh, airship at the beginning here. Uh, the map is kind of uh, weird because uh, certain uh, things stack on top of each other. So I'm going to try my best to show you where you come in or at least give you a general idea of where I'm at. But overall, it's, it's not that hard to tell where you are at. I mean, there's only certain places that you can't go in here and you'll have like, you know, sometimes four or five collectibles in just one spot. So, yeah. The breakables, of course, are these weird little boxes with, I don't know, cockroaches in them or something like that. So for this trophy, you're going to have to first hack into it so it drops it and then you're going to use uh, the tilt if you don't remember what that is basically you hack into the um, airship system you can tilt the ship uh, left or right Next, if you go right behind you, all you have to do is just turn this one green. Uh, use your hacking device. Uh, tilt it all the way to the right. And then go inside of uh, the little vent area over here. Open it up. And the trophy will be inside of it. The next one is going to be right up top. Hopefully you have the the gun that shoots the end or the electricity out so you can open it up. And then it just closes on you. Look at that. It almost hit me in the face. Uh, underneath it is going to be another breakable. Uh, next up, uh, right when you uh, go inside um, to the next area, you're going to come over here before you go up, of course, to, to shoot your... Uh, uh, bat hook up in the air. I'll do this real quick. Uh, you're gonna have to use the uh, remote control batarang. Mess up the first time, as you can see here. It went crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this the right way. Uh, now that I, after I did, I was wondering, is that what I was supposed to do? Is there like an opening up top? But either way, it worked. So it should work for you. Now you're gonna grab a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot in this area. So this is when you use uh, Stag's voice to open up the door. Uh, watch out! There's a turnover here. It's gonna shoot at you. If this is your se uh, if this is your first time, you uh, well actually it doesn't really matter at this point. So yeah, uh, you're not gonna be able to use the tilt control in this area unless you go over to that computer over there. But first, break that. Grab the trophy over here real quick. Go over to that computer terminal and make it, oh, we'll get the breakable first. Work on your calves, jumping up and down like that. Go to this terminal, that way uh, it work, it'll uh, link into your hacking device. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump on the table and then uh, apply the uh, the explosive gel on there. Blow it up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tilt the box over inside and then you're going to tilt it and you're just going to keep slamming it into that uh, into that glass until you can grab the trophy that's up top. And 
That's it. All right, next up, there's a breakable right over here to your right. I decided to get this one just real quick since I was already there. There's actually a few more breakables and even a trophy where we were just at, but I wanted to take care of this floor one first. So I'm showing you what I did. Uh, you're gonna want to lock that one over there and then you're gonna unlock the two that are over there and slide it all the way to the right into that room, which is gonna leave a path open for you. And since that path is open, you can come over here and grab the trophy. Uh, we got another breakable up top over here. I don't like to show you guys the map on here because like I said, half the time the map is just really confusing. I like to just start at one spot each time. So we got a trophy over here that I forgot to grab the first time, so we're going to grab it this time. Uh, you're going to shoot up here. You're going to get the line launcher. You're going to jump on top of it. And then, uh, you know, grab it. We got another trophy. If you want, there's actually a breakable right to your right over there. I decided to get it last. I don't know why. Hit those question marks and then grab the trophy. Then after that, jump back down and get the breakable. You got to use your hook. Sorry, it's like 2 a.m. I'm tired. <laughs> Try not to yawn. Uh, the first riddle here is uh, you have to scan the white uh, chimp. I think that's what it is. Uh, we had, next, we got a breakable right over here. You have to use your hook again. Or back claw, sorry. Not hook. And then next, we have the trophy. Uh, these are fun. I mess up a few times on them because I keep forgetting to lock the, the gates behind uh, the chimpanzees. But basically, there'll be uh, uh, a chimp per button on the ground. What you have to do is you have to lock them in to where they're all standing on that button. I think this one only has one right now to kind of give you an idea of, of what to do. So it's, it's basically going to follow you. So as you can see over there, it's following me. And you have to bring it all the way over there. Then you have to lock it. See, if, if you do that, it'll jump back over. So what you want to do is you want to um, make sure it stays in one spot. For this one, you had to get them to hit uh, the two buttons on the side. Future ones, uh, you have to get them to stay on that one button. And it's annoying sometimes when you forget the... Uh, that's what the question marks are for. It's supposed to slide down. Uh, you know, a little door, that way they can't move. And sometimes I forget about it. You have to prove yourself smarter than them, and sometimes I wasn't doing that. <laughs> I wish actually all the levels were like this. Uh, this was probably the easiest of out of all the collectibles. As you can see, that was just the first airship. This is the second one where we're going to com be coming through. I'm surprised this one's even still up in the air, to be honest. There's going to be a breakable to your right before you head on out or head on in, I'm sorry. And as soon as you go through this door, you're gonna take a left and get the other breakable. Right, tro trophy number 13 is yet again another uh, puzzle with the animals.
and you want to lock the one on top all the way to the right instead of the one down below because at least you can scoot over and then grab the uh, trophy real quick if you need to. This one involves of course the voice. Really easy. This riddle is a magazine on a desk. Just climb up here, a quick shortcut. Hopefully you guys have the uh, the ice grenades for this next one. If you don't, it's in the uh, the secret little movie or yeah movie thing that uh, that you held Robin and Harley and all the other uh, infected Jokers. It's in that area. And then climb back up top and grab this breakable real quick. This one, this one was a little annoying, trying to find the right spot to grab it. This is the last one of these, I believe, thankfully. Next year, I want to get the electrical gun. Up at top of you, there's going to be uh, three of those uh, power cells. Just hit all three of them, and it should open up that little uh, that little cage that has the trophy in it. Not too sure if there's a timer, if you have to do it in a certain way, but that's how I did it from left to right. Coming up to the end already. I know this is like the shortest video out of all these I've done yet. I'm hoping. The Arkham Knights HQ. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, I showed you that computer right there. You need to put your hand on it so you can open up the door for that. So make sure you guys do that. Uh, I accidentally uh, forgot to record myself doing that. So that's why I wanted to go over there real quick and, and have you look at it. Uh, blow this up. There's going to be a breakable to the right as soon as you come in. Uh, for this one, I was so confused at first. Because I thought I was supposed to line it up just right in the middle or something like that. Actually, what you're supposed to do is get up top. So the first thing we're going to do is going to go to that cage to the right. The door is actually open, as you can see right there. Get your little hacking device. What you want is to push everything over to the left. That way you can go up uh, go up top. You're going to see a, a, a little door here once I show you course I do it to the right but yeah to, uh, it's actually uh, once you go in you go to the left and there's gonna be a little hatch you just go up on top of it and then once you're up top right here what you want to do is you want to open up the one that I'm above right there at first I thought it was the one in the middle but it's not so just do what I did right there what you want to do is you want to lock that one push this over and then jump down and that's it sorry I cut I, I cut myself uh, not actually going up but like I said on the other side over there that it's like wide open once you go inside and you look up you'll be able to sh you know shoot yourself up so for this one you want you're gonna use the voice and you're gonna be using the tilt to destroy the turrets There's actually a trophy in that cube, but we're gonna take care of that one last because it involves jumping off the ship and I figured we'd grab everything else before we decide to jump down. So the riddle's over here on the left side. 
I was trying to see if I could destroy it, and I finally figured out that I was supposed to throw it off. But that's where the riddle is. Uh, next is a breakable that I'm going to show you here in a second. I thought it was on the other side of the door, and then I realized that it was actually right there, top right. Now for this next uh, trophy is going to come up after the after the breakable. I'm still not a hundred percent sure how I got it. What's going to happen is you're going to open up one of the shutter doors, and across from you is going to be a bunch of question marks that light up randomly, or they light up across and then they go away sort of randomly. Um, I pretty much hit every single one, but it wasn't uh, opening up for me. It wasn't until I got the remote uh, um, batarang and hit the fifth one, you know, all the way to the right. I think that was the only one I didn't hit because it would go away so fast. As you can see here, watch. You're going to see it uh, just, just going away really fast. Oh, I'm sorry I cut that part I cut that part out where I was gonna explain that but yeah they go away really fast for some reason but it wasn't until I did that with the fifth one because the fifth one would light up and then it would go away really fast uh, with the battering it kind of slows it down I think because of uh, I guess it puts you in slow motion for it so just make sure to hit that perfectly so now for this last one throw that thing all the way out and then jump out I jumped in the water just to see where it would land me and then I saw it way over there in the green and what, what was really nice is that it put me right above it and then you jump down and that's basically it for the stack sorry about trophy number uh, uh, 19 I just wasn't or 20 uh, I wasn't uh, too sure on exactly what to do with that one maybe I got lucky I'm not a hundred percent sure like I said if anybody can confirm that by all means put it on there and then we'll uh, we'll put it into the comment section anyways thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe and comment uh, only one more i'm gonna get the arkham hq out tomorrow morning as soon as i can thanks for watching and have fun gaming